في كلام يا اسود ما في كلام يا اسود يا اسود يا اسود من البلدة جيبها جوا ما في كلام بل 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 دعامه في دعامه في دعامه في ما في دعامه دعامه ما في دعامه وينو الدعامه وين وين الدعامه السرعة وين وين الدعامه وينو وين الدعامه مشو دعامه وين دعامه وين مشو وين الدعامه الدعامه وين يا مضاف يا مضاف الدعامه وين مضاف الدعامه وين مضاف ها UN says almost 200 killed 1,800 wounded in Sudan battles. Fighting between the army and paramilitaries in Sudan has killed around 200 people and wounded 1,800 damaging hospitals and hampering aid after three days of urban warfare. A week is long power struggle exploded into deadly violence Saturday between the forces of two generals who seized power. In a 2021 coup, Sudanese Army Chief Abdel Fatal al Buran and his deputy Mohamed Hamdan Dagro, who commands the paramilitary rapid support forces. Analysts say the fighting in the capital is unprecedented and could be prolonged despite regional and global calls for a ceasefire as diplomats mobilize. U.S. Secretary of State Anton Brinken said Tuesday he had spoken with the two generals and underscored the urgent need for a ceasefire. Too many civilians' lives have already been lost, Brinken tweeted, adding, he had stressed the importance of ensuring the safety of diplomatic personnel and aid workers. Following the call, ja Dagro said in a tweet that the pair had discussed pressing issues in Sudan, adding he was grateful for Brinken and the U.S.'s commitment to restoring stability in Sudan. Brinken made his calls while in Japan for a meeting of G7 foreign ministers who also urged the warring, the warring sides to end hostilities immediately and ensure the safety of all civilians. The European Union's ambassador to Sudan was, attack, was attacked in his house, in his home in Khartoum on Monday. The Brock's top diplomat Joseph Polin said, a spokesperson told AFP the veteran diplomat was okay following the assault. Battles has taken place throughout the vast country and there are fears of regional spillover. Terrified residents of the capital are spending the last and holiest days of Ramadan watching from their windows as tanks roll through the streets, buildings shake and smoke from fires triggered by the fighting hangs in the air. The conflict has seen airstrikes, artillery and heavy gunfire. Those, compa those compelled to venture out face queues for bread and petrol at outlets that are not shuttered. Residents are also dealing with power outages. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.